Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing a game called Lima. It's a new game off the Steam Workshop, and by what I've seen, and what I've played a little bit, it really looks and plays really great. It's a free-running, ultra-realistic, voxel-based game, so let's just get into it and I think you'll like what you see I haven't tried any of the challenge levels yet uh, let's just get through the storyline and then we may try those later so we start out and it's raining uh, he's a friend from Berkeley last week he hit a breakthrough and disappeared it's called Lima I think that's what the breakthrough was so WASD mouse to look around blue thing over there, red thing over here. Let's check the red thing out. Alright, November 27th. Mark, it's been 24 hours. Lima has stabilized. I'm not ready to let Joan in yet. I'm afraid she'll get hurt. I think I'm Joan. I think I'm... Yep, I think I'm Joan. So, space to jump. I believe shift is to grab yourself when you're falling. Uh, one of four orbs collected. Okay. Oh yeah, pushing the limits. Let's check out the sides here. It's real fast. Not seeing anything. Uh, left shift to climb over. Oh, that's cool. The lines glow in between. I wonder if we have to fill this whole thing. Let's just run around for a second. I I don't think so. I think this is just showing us something that's going to happen in the future. Um, let's go up here. There's an orb over there. Uh, that looks like the way we're heading. Um, these stairways go up and over there. And I have a place to come down over there. Let's go ahead and go this way first and end up over there where that uh, orb is. So the background, the sounds, everything sounds very cool. I'm really liking it. I also like the, the, the storyline going on. Uh, separately in the notes that are um, that are on the ground. I think that's really neat to show uh, how it got to where it is. And uh, another orb. That's two out of four. We got a, a third orb there. Ouch. I know you'd probably be hurting if you just fell straight down. Alright. Uh, but I'm not hurt, so let's continue on. Uh, three out of four. All right. January 17th, Mark. I did it. It's beautiful. A non-deterministic, uh, yes, non-deterministic universe with unpredictable outcome. I have a limited but growing degree of control. Practice will yield better results. Certain elements exhibit intelligent behavior. Hmm. They scare me. Are they conscious beings? If so, at what level? So that's something to look forward to. Uh, all right. Figure we're on this side. Let's go ahead and keep going this way. Sounded like something else just um, grew. Maybe it's this. I like this very high speed running. Did we, how many orbs did we get? Um, uh, more uh, drawing on the page. Uh, it's still November 27th or another page from November 27th. Why do you find it so hard to believe? It's just math. Matter is not a solid thing the way we think it is. It's a wave. Okay? So I'm guessing that's going to be important. So just kind of remember what we've seen from that date. Because that is a reoccurring date so far. Um, 
Looks like it's gonna be going. We're going out that way. So let's go ahead and check over here. All right, November twenty-fifth. So two days before the previous notes. Uh, second week of polyphysic sleep. Polyphasic. Polyphasic. Yeah, polyphasic sleep. Sorry. Just trying to make sure I'm saying it correct. Polyphasic sleep routine. Still exhausted, but adjusting to the short naps. The next step will be easier, I think, but I'm going to need help. I somehow managed to cop uh, some funding, so I'm calling a sleep specialist, Dr. Brody, tomorrow. I may need to prepare some notes to help convince him. So we had notes, I think, that were... Um, in the future of this uh, yes yeah, so the 27th I think the notes that we've been reading up oh, sorry uh, were to dr. Brody that makes more sense so let's go back this way hello <laughs> I barely cleared that looking around make sure I got everything uh, space bar to jump rapidly between the two walls oh <laughs> that is was that a phone yeah it's a phone Joan I hope you get this in time do not come here please trust me no exclamation marks but I wanted to make it sound like it was very important <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue on. Uh, yeah. And well, we're here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Nada. And I don't think I can make it across over there. So, there. I'm really liking the way this game flows. It's really fun to play. And um, it just feels nice and smooth. Uh, another orb. Uh, or a signal. Okay, press tab. Oh, it gives us a connection so we can talk to the person. We can compose now. Mark, reply. Mark, where are you? There we go. Oh my god! You're here, aren't you? <laughs> What? No, my phone was just acting up. Yes, we're going to use that. <laughs> you need to call this off, Joan. You can't come here. Exclamation mark, even though it's a period. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm really struggling. I'm not going to join you at all, uh, or anytime soon. Wait, I lied. I made it all up. <laughs> no, I think we're going to stick to our lie. Why don't you take a trip to Brazil? What? Uh, it's a perfect. It's perfect for you. Uh, maybe I'll think about that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that you could take more than one path here. I don't know if it. Aff Whoa. I don't know. Oh, orb. I don't know if it affects you, but uh, it sure is fun, especially when the guy is passing out over the fact that. Oh, it kind of looked with the orb that there was water beneath us. Um, yeah, that's kind of funny to be able to do that. Wall. There we go. And the light. I'm really loving this game, guys. I hope you're liking it, too. Um, so we have... Well, yeah, that's just that blue stuff. So it looks like we just complete a circuit by walking over the blue stuff. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
home because I heard the I heard the building happening. I was just about to run straight out into the into the void. <laughs> I would have done it too. I don't know if we're supposed to hit all of those, or if it really matters, or it's just a guideline to show us how to get to uh, where we're going. Another signal tower. Pose. Oh, I don't have options. Mark, I made it in. <laughs> oh, he's going to be mad. Damn it, Joan! See? Exclamation mark. Oh man, okay, I can figure out a way to get you out of here. Why did you lie to me? <laughs> Look, can you help me or not? <laughs> Just keep heading towards the next ter um it's not Terrasact, it's um Tesseract? Yeah, Tesseract and text me when you get stuck. Hmm. <laughs> All right, here's the door contraption. We just walk over this and it opens. I saw the glow over here for this. Um, do I wall run? Let's try it out. I think I jumped over it. Yeah, I jumped over it. Let's try that again. Oh, oh man, really fun, this game. Ah, uh, didn't do it. Got a lot of dark blue, but it didn't get... Yeah, it's starting way too far back. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, we got it there. Hold left shift to enter slow motion. Awesome. Okay. Um, uh, tab. December 7th. So we are now past uh, November. Dr. Brody. Mark. Uh, reply to your last message. I see you've considered my question and perhaps even answered it. As I understand it, you think that somehow by affecting the change of uh, change in the dream world, you can change the real world, or perhaps aim to practice on the dream and so awaken latent abilities in reality. I remain unconvinced but willing to help. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's the Matrix. You know, whenever Neo was learning how to um, to do judo and all of that, it was not so much a dream because they were in the Matrix, but that's the same idea is that you would go um, into your dreams and learn a skill and then be able to translate that into a reality. Uh, essentially is what I believe they're trying to say there which is cool that sounds um, that sounds like that would be a pretty cool idea if we could do that uh, left mouse button to um, uh, just before landing to prevent uh, fail uh, fall fall Let's fail <laughs> prevent fail uh, which it would prevent a fail but it's fall damage okay let's continue on I think I saw a note. Slow motion. Start rolling. <laughs> I think I got a little bit hurt, but it wasn't that bad. Okay. Uh, note, November 27th. So we're now back before um, actually receiving the letter from Dr. Brody. Still on the same day. Uh, one of the biggest discoveries in our time is that light and matter are essentially the same light can convert to matter and vice versa definitely sounds like he's con uh, conversating with uh the doctor let's take a look up here and see what we're getting ourselves into 
and see if there's any notes up here, which I probably won't be. Um, looks fine to me. Let's see. Can I, can I land in the middle of that? Yep. Roll it. Roll it. Oh, oh, I am. What is that? That's intelligent life. Uh, he mentioned that in the first section, uh, first area, about uh, that's moving so fast. I hope it's not mean. Uh oh, uh oh, it's making noise. It's glowing. Oh, it's yellow. Red is dead. Red is dead. Slow motion. Jumping. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I got to see that in slow motion, but I'm getting away from that thing. Oh, jeez. I hear it right behind me. <laughs> Look around real quick, kind of trying to feel out if. Oh, ouch. Okay. Still trying to- oh my goodness, that thing is right there. Uh, looking for any kind of documents. Uh, there's an orb up there. Oh, hi guy! <laughs> oh, please, ooh, please, oh! Why am I why am I jumping in circles? Come on. I know how to do this. This is one of my training. Ouch. <sighs> There's a glowing thing up there. Man, those things are mean. That was fun though. <laughs> uh, looks like we have a door and we have a note. Tab, November. We're back in November 27th, so he's still trying to make his point apparently. Uh, light and matter are simply different kinds of waves. A particle of matter is not a concrete object at a specific location. At the subatomic level, it's impossible to know exactly where a particle is and how fast it's going. So that's pretty cool. Um, he's still trying to get the doctor to sway his way. Oh, we don't have a little thing to walk on. Let's climb up here. And I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, looks like we have to follow this around. Uh, there's an orb there, but I saw... That's a different... Does it matter the color of the orb? I think it does. I jumped away from it. I hear the guys. <laughs> You, I guess they're stuck to their realm, but I wonder if he can glitch over whenever I go that way. That guy is mad. Okay, um, there's a little ledge here. Okay, that's the one I've read. There are no notes, but there's that thing. I'm so afraid of that guy. Okay, he's not coming over. Three of five orbs. Did I, I haven't gotten all the pages. Is there a way to look? Um, photos? Nope. Sir... Three, okay, three of five notes. Three of five orbs. I think. 
I think we might have missed a note. I don't know how we would have stopped in that dead man's land, but... And one, two, three... I thought that was four. Three. Did I miss a note somewhere? Okay. There's no note there. Alright, well, anyway, we'll go ahead and continue and get this thing taken care of. Before I leave this area, I'll, um, I'll take a look around over, uh, over in the area we shouldn't be going. Uh, okay, that goes around there. Uh, there's a little bit... Okay, so it's going over to that door. Press my uh, left mouse button to roll through um, certain materials hold to stay crouched. Okay, that might help us look. Oh, here we go. Here's a fourth. November 27th, Mark. Um, oh, yeah, this is another page. Um, interestingly, as soon as an unknown quantum wave comes under observation, it solidifies into a known concrete particle. The mere act of observing affects uh, the physical world. <laughs> that must have been what answered um, his question. All right, we have another orb over there, it looks like. I'm wondering if the page is like on top of one of those. Or maybe over there. Let's check it out. Let's check out over here, actually. No. Just trying to see if I can find the page. Alright guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna look for that page. Okay, so I've been looking all over the place and I just cannot find this note. It um, is not here as you may see some damage over there on those walls. Uh, it may not be very easy to see here, but um, I didn't go all through this area over here. Uh, ouch. <laughs> As you can see, there's all kinds of explosions. I didn't find any kind of page there. Went back as far as I could. Couldn't find anything. So, uh, we're gonna have to live without it, I guess. Unless there's one coming up that I didn't see. Ouch. Roll. No note here. Nothing on the side there. Um, let's go ahead and deal with the signal tower. I need help. All right. Uh, the Tesseract should be open now. All right, well, it's open, um, but that doesn't make me happy. Let's go ahead and get that over there. Oh, there's a little ledge here. Glad I was able to catch it before I fell to my death. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Oh. Was too cautious, I believe. I was trying to make sure I was dropping at the right weight. Uh, right. Right? I get it. Oh my goodness. I wish I would have known that before I redid this. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get back over there and start the next one. And I think we'll go ahead and end this episode there. Let me know what you guys think about the game. It really is pretty darn fun to play. But thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day. Peace out.